A few weeks ago I've made this keyboard, with a full alphabet compatible with Arduino or any other microcontroller. Today I'm going to give a use to this keyboard in a chat project. These are some radio chat modules that are using these keyboards, the CC1101 radio modules, an OLED display and a battery circuit inside that is also rechargeable. In this way you could see a real life project where you could use this keyboard, because we need all the characters of the alphabet in order to create a chat. Once powered on, this module will ask you to enter your name. This name will appear on the receiver screen each time that you send a new message. Once the name is saved, type your text and press the send button. So as you can see, the message is now displayed onto the receiver screen together with the given name. In the same way you could use multiple radio modules and receive messages from different users, just as a walkie talkie, but instead of voice message you will use text messages. I think this will be an interesting and fun project to make and it is quite nice to be able to send text messages to your friends using radio. Before we start, make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell as well. Thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel. So let's get started. Hey friends, the sponsor of this video is GLC PCB. I always had good results with their PCB manufacturer service, and you can see that on all the PCBs on this channel. But now they also have an SMT assembly service with a pick and place machine. So if you're planning to create a full PCB design, solder the components and sell your boards for example, take a look at this service, starting from $7. Check all the frequent questions to learn more and ask for a quote on glcpcb.com. What's up my friends, welcome back. This is the final module that I've made. I had to make two of these, in order to test the radio connection. Each case was 3D printed using PLA material. Inside we have a rechargeable battery with a recharging module, an Arduino Nano, the radio module with the antenna, a small OLED display to show the received text and of course on the top part of the case we have the keyboard. Remember that this keyboard uses a UART connection, so all you have to do is to connect the RX and the TX pins to the Arduino and start receiving each character. And remember that also by pressing the shift key you can send uppercase or some special characters, such as the question mark, exclamation and so on. So let's see how they work. On the side I have an on and off switch. So I power on the radio chat module. First on the screen you will get the enter name text. So now you can type your name. Make this as short as you can, because the maximum characters you could send at once is 60 and that's because of the small screen and also because of the radio modules. But 60 characters should be enough for this short chat. Now press the send button and the name will be saved and you'll enter the chat. At the same time I pour on the other chat module and give a different name. Let's name this one Morty. Now the two modules are ready. So now I type how are you from the Rick's chat and press send. So as you can see the message was received and printed on the bottom side of the receiver screen. Ok so now let's answer back. So now I type find and new and the question mark and press send. As you can see the received message will stay here till I receive a new one. So that's more or less how this works. It is just a simple chat that might be fun to use with your friends or neighbors. I've also placed a buzzer inside that will create a short beep each time that you receive a new message. To charge the battery just plug the 5V USB connector into the charging module and that's it. So you could download from below the final code and add any extra part that you want such as multiple messages, store the text for more time and so on. You will also find below the full part list for this project, the schematic and of course the STL files for the 3D printed case. So let's see how to build this simple project. Ok so what we really need to make one chat module. First we need a keyboard. For that just get the Gerber file from below and send it to glcpcb. Once you have the board just place all the buttons and solder the Admega chip on the back and upload the code. In order to see how I've made this PCB keyboard just see my other video. Ok so then we'll need an Arduino Nano. The CC1101 radio module a 64 by 128 OLED display with a nice crazy communication, a 3.7 volts battery and a charging module. 
the buzzer and the sliding switch. You will also need to print the case for this project. I've used 3 perimeters, 20% infill and PLA material. So now that we have all the parts, go below and take a look at the schematic for this project. Now let's start. Connect the radio module to the Arduino as in the schematic. You don't have to connect power and ground wires yet. Now connect the OLED display to the Arduino to the I2C pins, which are the A4 and the A5 analog pins. Again, don't connect power and ground, because later we will merge all these wires together. Ok, so now we should add the keyboard, but not yet. Don't connect the TX and the RX wires. We have to do that after we upload the code. So for that go below and download the final code and upload it to the Arduino. Once uploaded, you can connect the TX and the RX pins from the keyboard. Then connect all the powers and ground wires together and then these wires to the Arduino 5V and ground pins. So now I can give the system a test. So as you can see, it works. It's good to test everything before you place it inside of the case. Now that I know it works, I get the 3D printed case, the battery charger and the 3.7V battery. Connect the battery to the charger like this and solder thin wires to the charger output. From here, the black wire will go to ground and the red wire will go to the on and off switch. All modules of this project will work at 3.7V with no problems, so we don't need to boost up the voltage from the battery. Now from the switch we connect the positive voltage to the Arduino and from the Arduino we make all the connections. Remember to also add the buzzer to the digital pin. So now everything is connected, so it's time to place this inside of the case. I first glue in place the OLED display with some hot glue. Then I fit in place the keyboard and I secure that with some screws. Now on the other part of the case, I glue in place the radio module antenna on the top hole. I also glue in place the battery and the charging module. And make sure that the module is exactly in front of the USB hole and that the connector will fit ok. I also glue in place the Arduino, the buzzer and the on and off switch on the side. So now we could close the case. For the plastic case, I've used once again these metal threads. Just take the soldering iron, hit the metal part and push it inside of the hole. Now we could tie the screws in place and this will create a very good contact. Ok, so the case is ready. Toggle the switch and power it on. And of course, I've made two of these chat modules at the same time because I need to test the radio connection. Let's just watch another simple example and then we will comment a little bit the code. Ok, so let me just show you an example, I will power on the modules and the first thing it will ask me for the name of the user that will use this module, so this case will be Rick. Rick press send, name saved and connected, so now we are connected to the chat and at the same time we will place here the name uh, Morty. Morty press send, name saved and connected, so now I will type something from this one, for example how are you? How are you? Question mark and press send. And now the other one received the, the message, Rick, which is the name of this user, and how are you? So I'll answer with I'm fine. I'm fine, you, and question mark. And now user one received the name Morty because it's the name of this chat and the, the question, I'm fine, how are you? I'm ok, I'm ok, bye, bye, and bye bye, and this will answer for example bye. And that's it, that is a simple chat between these two modules. Ok guys, so the code is the same for both modules, they both work the same. You will need to download from below some libraries, the CC1101 library for the radio module, the ADF3GFX and the SSD1306 libraries for the OLED display. The keyboard works at 150 200 bouts per second, so you have to start the serial communication at that speed. Then we initialize the OLED display and the radio module. In the same setup loop I create a while, and here we have to wait till the user inserts the name. In the main loop, when we detect the serial data, we store each character. If the received data is for the send button, we go to this other loop. Here we send the entire vector of characters, and then we reset the vector values for the next time that we send something. 
At the same time, in the same loop, we get the receive flag. Each time that I receive something new, we print the data to the OLED display, starting at the line 32, because that's the middle of the OLED display. So read all the comments in the code to understand more, and leave comments below if you need help. Ok guys, so this was my radio chat project. Of course, you could make this one with more features. Maybe a bigger screen for more text, maybe use a different radio module such as the NRF24 radio module, and maybe more battery. Once you know how to use this keyboard, which by the way is very simple to use, you can make any other project that requires a full alphabet. Check the links below and consider supporting my work on Patreon. I've made all the Gerber files for all of my PCBs available for you guys. And if you like this project, consider subscribing and give a like to this video. So thank you very much for your support, to my patrons and to my subscribers. Thanks again and see you later guys.